Hello friends, welcome to JNRA Python lecture 5. Today we will learn installing Anaconda Navigator. Why we need this Anaconda Navigator? Anaconda Navigator is package of some applications. Anaconda Prompt, Jupyter Lab, Jupyter Notebook, Qt Console and finally Spider. Anaconda Prompt enables the Python environment by default. JupyterLab is a interactive and reproducible computing environment. Jupyter Notebook enables us to edit documents in our system for data analysis. Qt Console provides multi-line editing with syntax highlighting for graphical tips and much more applications. Spider is a unique combination of editing, analysis, debugging and report functionalities. What are the additional applications? R Studio, it is a IDE for R programming for statistical computing. Gluevis is for multidimensional data visualization for files. Orange is the data mining framework for data analysis and visualization. And finally, PyCharm is the latest one which is used in big data and data science project. Next, coming to how to install. Go to www.anaconda.com. This is the website. Go to products and individual edition. In that, scroll down. Here, install Anaconda option is there. Click on that. You will redirect it to bottom. So, check the version Python 2.7 for 32 bit, 64 bit and python 3.7 32-bit 64-bit so four words four types of pythons are there so click on 64-bit 3.7 version save the file in your system so after downloading that file click on that file Click on next, I agree, click on next, choose the path, next, after completing click on next button, next, finally, finish in the search bar type anaconda navigator open that file will get like this it will take some time for loading all components yes this is the home page of anaconda navigator defaultly some applications are installed as earlier said in the ppt's so defaultly command prompt jupyter lab notebook powershell qt console spider all are installed glowbase rn3 and rstudio you need to install Later.